It's a beautiful Missouri morning, beautiful sight. Just have one little problem. I got a leak in this pond. And there's a well over there that has been used to keep this pond maintained, but that's not sustainable. So I set a little gauge rock over here. The edge of this rock was at the edge of the water about, let's see, it was 8 o'clock last night? 12 hours ago, we have dropped, we've dropped an inch in uh, 12 hours. And definitely not evaporation. Hey, little bass. See a little bass in there. Kids have been enjoying catching the bass out of here. But uh, this is not good. So, this is the case for a bentonite liner or a, a poly liner, which is a very expensive proposition. So, what do you do? You've got to drain this baby start over either do a bentonite liner or poly liner if any of you are pond experts out there i appreciate you getting in touch with me engineer 775 and uh help me out to help some other people when they have ponds that are are not really sustainable because they got a leak in them what do you suggest uh, great pond um but it has gone down. You can see the you can see the line. Um, that is in <coughs> three and a half days, so that's not good. So there's been a pump in here pumping 55 gallons a minute. It's kind of sad that the person was, didn't know about that until they got the property. So now they're having to regroup to save this pond, and uh, they need to start over. And uh, so that's going to be a project for sure. But anyway, it's water related and that's why I'm putting it up here. If you got any comments on how to save this pond, I'd love to hear it. Okay, it's Engineer 775 signing out.